Hey, good Sunday to you. I'm Storm Team 9 meteorologist Patrick Ellis. Well, if you've gotten outside today, it was an absolutely gorgeous day across eastern Carolina. It continues to be a gorgeous day across eastern North Carolina. And we'll continue to see some nice conditions over the next several days. Uh, as far as today is concerned, we got up into the lower 70s for our inland locations and right along the beaches into the uh, middle and upper 60s. So right on target as far as our Storm Team 9 precision forecast is concerned. Uh, we'll continue that pattern as we go into the next couple of days, even warmer as we head towards tomorrow. Let's talk about tonight. Uh, at, some cloud cover starting to move through the Piedmont of the state. I think that we'll see a mixture of clouds and stars tonight. So we'll go with partly cloudy skies this evening. Some areas who see a little bit more clearing may see a little bit of patchy fog develop uh, in portions of the area. But I'm not expecting a widespread fog issue and not even enough to really, uh, not expecting a whole lot of fog at that so just be careful in the morning time hours I think some of the low lying areas may have to deal with a little bit of patchy fog but don't expect uh, this big blanket of fog in the morning just some patchy areas low temperatures this evening deep inland sections upper 40s uh, lower 50s as you head closer to the highway 13 corridor and then closer to the beaches I think middle 50s will do it for a good portion of us like I said we'll go with partly cloudy skies this evening with a calm to southwest wind at 5 miles per hour tomorrow we get warmer even warmer than what we were today uh, temperatures tomorrow will go with partly cloudy skies. I think we might start off the morning with a little bit of uh, gunkiness with the patchy fog and then convective clouds. We'll see cum cumulus clouds start to build up through the afternoon hours, but nothing expecting to fall out of those clouds tomorrow afternoon. Maybe a sprinkle, and I'm talking about a very low chance of this, but a sprinkle mainly for our southwestern counties. That's what at least the NAM is trying to paint, but I'm not expecting that at all. Our precision forecast model keeping us high and dry, as well as the other uh, models, the GFS and the European also keep us uh, dry as well. We'll go with partly cloudy skies, middle and upper 70s deep inland, and I wouldn't be surprised if a few areas hit touch 80 tomorrow afternoon, especially south of US 70. Beaches, I think you'll be in the upper 60s to low 70s tomorrow, so overall not a bad day uh, across eastern North Carolina. Like I said, I think the, uh, the model's trying to pick up on that uh, convective cumulus field tomorrow afternoon. But no rain showers expected. Maybe one or two sprinkles, mainly south of US 70, but that's about it. And I'm, I'm not even really buying into that at this point. Uh, we'll go into your overnight hours of Monday. We'll go with partly to mostly cloudy skies. A little short wave moves its way through the area uh, late on uh, Monday and into Tuesday. It will bring us a, a few more clouds to start off your uh, Tuesday, but overall looking pretty nice as we head towards Tuesday. Low temperatures uh, look like they'll only dip down into the middle 50s for your Monday night. Tuesday will go with partly cloudy skies, high temperatures into the low 80s, upper 70s, low 80s, beaches a little bit cooler. And that's going to be the trend if you live right along the Crystal Coast and the Outer Banks. Just a smidge cooler each and every day than the inland locations. But inland locations will be fairly warm. Upper 70s, low 80s for us for uh, Tuesday. I've got a high temperature of 80 that day. 82 for Wednesday. Partly cloudy skies. And I think we actually see a little bit more sunshine for your Tuesday, uh, uh, for your Wednesday rather. But uh, 82 degrees, the high temperature. As thicknesses warm up just a little bit, they rise just a tad, just a few more meters, and that's going to get our temperatures up just that much more. Thursday, I've got a slight change for rain, about 10 percent. Reasoning why deep moisture starts to move into the area as we head towards Thursday. A high temperature of 80 with a partly cloudy sky. Maybe a little bit more gunkier for the afternoon hours uh, as that little short wave tries to move in here late in the evening hours of Thursday and into Friday. Friday go mostly cloudy. High temperatures mid-70s uh, for a good portion of us. And even got a chance for sh some showers and thunderstorms uh, across the area, about 40% that day likely will be uh, heightened just a little bit as we head a little bit closer to time. Uh, but like I said, at the time being, we're not expecting any severe weather at this point in time. But the upper air atmosphere is, is looking conducive that we could see uh, some stronger storms uh, try to develop. The analogs looking back over time, uh, we've had this setup before. The last time we had this setup was in 2010 where the Piedmont actually saw uh, more uh, severe weather and actually they saw more in the way of a uh, straight line wind damage and if that happens if we actually have some severe weather on uh, on Friday more than likely it would be just straight line wind damage and not uh, necessarily a tornado threat but we are going to be keeping a close eye on it nonetheless but at the time being and the uh, time of this uh, it's 4.50 right now on uh, Sunday 
I'm not expecting anything uh, to really happen as far as that's going to concern right now, but we're keeping a close eye on it nonetheless. Uh, Saturday, we'll keep with mostly cloudy skies and cooler. We actually turn back to about 70 degrees, still with a slight change for a shower th during the day, but I think the best chance will stay during the morning time hours and then clearing out through the afternoon. Uh, high temperature around 70 degrees. We'll keep that for Sunday with partly cloudy skies. So the trend will be a little bit cooler for the weekend. But overall, not too bad. Still around, right around normal. Our normal high temperature this time of the year is 72 degrees. So we're right about normal for this time of the year as far as the rain, uh, for, as far as the uh, uh, temperatures are concerned as we head towards the weekend. But we'll actually be above normal temperatures. About running about five to ten degrees above normal for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday with those high temperatures in the 80s. So uh, that's all we've got for this afternoon. Um, I do believe that we actually have a newscast this evening. Uh, thanks to No Basketball, so we'll have a 6 o'clock newscast, so I'll see you tonight at 6 o'clock on WNCT, on the CW at uh, 10 o'clock, and I think we may run a little late on WNCT at 11, kind of depends on how long the American Country Music Awards uh, go through this evening, but overall, uh, just expect that we'll be on sometime around the 11 o'clock hour, more than likely right at the uh, 11 o'clock hour on uh, this evening. And then you can tune in tomorrow morning with uh, Gannon Medwick at 5 o'clock, starting 5 o'clock for morning edition. Chief Meteorologist David Sawyer back in tomorrow afternoon to give you your latest for the evening hours. All right, y'all have a good afternoon. God bless.